Everyone has at-home remedies they swear by, but do they really work? We are going to put a few to the test today. I'm here with the beauty director at Women's Health Magazine, Molly Nover Baker. Welcome, Molly. Nice Thank to you. see you. Thank you. How effective are these at-home remedies? Well, listen, women spend a lot of money on beauty products at the store when really there's a lot of things they could be using right at their kitchen. They just have to know what works and what doesn't, and that can get a little dicey. Okay, that that's out. where you come in because we have three lovely ladies who are going to introduce us to their at-home remedies that they swear by, beginning with Olga. Now, you have a special remedy, Olga, for getting rid of the dark circles under your eyes, right? Dark circles and puffiness. And puffiness, the okay. Eyes. Um, my home remedy is uh, sour cream and parsley. And what you do is you're going to take about a teaspoon okay. of sour cream. Right. And then you're going to finely chop the parsley. And then you're going to put the parsley in the sour cream and mix it all up. Okay. And get a good mixture because you want some of that sour cream in there. It has vitamin K. And then what do you do? You put that? You take a um, cheesecloth or gauze. Okay. And then you take it in the middle like a little dollop. Yep. And you can make a pouch out of it. And right, then with just a string, okay. tie with a string mm -hmm. and refrigerate them overnight. But if you want to use it right away, you want to put them in the freezer for about an hour. And then once you do your home regimen at night, you're going to put the pouches underneath your eyes for about 10, 15 minutes. Okay, who came up with this? How did you just um, find I, this out? Well, I grew up in Puerto Rico and New York, back and forth. My sure. parents and my grandmother, and they always did home remedies in their kitchen when you got sick or if you had a boo-boo or anything. They whip up something. And it put this on, yeah. and I'm like, okay. So it kind of stood with me, and then I'm also a skin therapist, so I'm always trying new things. New things. Well, Molly, yeah. what do you think of this home remedy? Well, what's really working here for her is the cold factor, the fact that you mentioned you put it in the refrigerator or the freezer, because the coldness, when you put that under your eyes, that's immediately going to constrict the blood vessels and make all of that blood that's pulling under your eyes, causing the blue under eye circles. That's going to help with that. The parsley is, because it's fresh and it's chopped, it does have some skin lightening agents. Like you mentioned, the vitamin K, it also has vitamin C. So that's going to help with the brown under eye circles. And the brown under eye circles are a result of pigmentation, sun damage, sometimes genetics. So you do have a few things there that are working to your advantage. The sour cream, not so much, but it gives it something to hold it all together exactly. and to hold and on So your basically, eyes. Grandma was right. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Thank Olga. You. We're going to move on to Jessica. You have an at home fix, but it. It stinks. It smells <laughs> pretty bad. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Explain what you're doing here. Um, so I use garlic cloves on my hair. In your hair. In my hair. I mince the garlic cloves really finely, and then I add conditioner to it. Um, Just any conditioner? Hair. Okay. Um, I prefer Eden Body Works, but like any conditioner will work. Okay. And then I put just a little bit of uh, garlic cloves in and make it like really fine like a paste. Okay. The smellier I mean, the better? Is there anything to that? Or? Well, the worse it smells, the better because the sulfur is what stinks and that has keratin in it, which is really good for your hair. Okay, well, Molly, yeah. what do you think? Well, I've heard a lot of things. I've heard of garlic, I've heard of onion juice, I've heard of vodka. Women are putting a lot of stuff on their scalp to try to stimulate hair Women growth. Women are wasting vodka on their yeah, scalp? Right? Oh, my God. Can you believe it? <laughs> I know. Stop already. So there's good news and there's bad news. The bad news is that, yes, it's a stinky process, and yes. garlic is best used in the kitchen. When you consume it, you get a lot of healthy benefits. Mm -hmm. Now, there, on the flip side of that, there are some scalp benefits. It contains an amino acid called allicin, which is both causing the stinky factor, mm -hmm. but it also has medicinal properties. It's antiseptic, it's antibacterial, it's anti-inflammatory. Right. So when you're mashing it up and using it topically, it is soothing the scalp. It is keeping it very healthy, very normal, so you're not going to have scalp issues, redness, irritation, flakiness. And when you have a healthy scalp, you have healthy hair. Strong, healthy hair can grow in. So it's not going to penetrate and make your hair grow any faster, right. but it is providing an environment in your scalp that's super healthy. So you're going to keep using it? Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah let me just... Smells <laughs> good, actually. Smells good. Smells good. Yeah. yeah, okay, baby. All right, Ginny, your issue is dry skin, especially in your hands, which are incredibly soft. So whatever remedy you've come up with yeah. seems to be pretty good. Explain what you have here. Yeah, so what I have is a treatment that's going to really make your hands soft. And we're going to start with two-thirds cup sugar and about two tablespoons of hand soap and you're just going to mix that together um, and then what you do to start it you pour a little bit of olive oil in your hand mm -hmm. Oops, that might be a little too much um, and you just rub it in everywhere get all those I'll dry spots okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll do this with you get all those dry spots yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, so then what do you do and then you take a little bit of a scrub yeah I'm give you a little bit here Ready okay. for the scrub? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. But I want you to do it, yeah. I'm going to do it too. So watch In case this whole thing goes to hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
so you just rub that in, get all those dry spots again. Oh, yeah. And it's really going to soften up your hands. Feels good. Yeah. yeah this is Molly, a great what do you one. think of it? You think mm -hmm. it's good? I do. I give it a thumbs up. I love it. And you've got a lot of things that are working for you here. The sugar is a natural exfoliant. And as you're rubbing it, you might notice it's starting to melt mm -hmm. a little bit. So you're going to get a really gentle scrub that's going to get rid of that dry flaking skin, but you're not going to overdo it. And then you're combining it with olive oil, which is just a fabulous natural mm -hmm. moisturizer. So many humectant qualities in there. Plus, it has antioxidants, A and E. So when you're putting it on your skin, it's actually giving a little bit of an anti aging effect because it's helping get rid of the, that sun damage and spots. So this, I feel like you can never do enough. No. It's, it's right. got great qualities all around. Can you substitute salt for the sugar? You could do Good. salt, but salt can be a little bit more abrasive Brace than sugar, okay. where sugar is a little bit more gentle. Okay. Yes. Well, Jenny, thank you so much. You're welcome. Jessica, thank you. Olga, thank, thank you so you. much. Molly, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Good tips. If you have a great at-home remedy, share it with us at MeredithTheAirShow.com.